Hello and welcome. My name is Victor Castro and this is um, the next video, I lost count already, uh, for exploring Moodle for teachers. Now in this video what we're going to be exploring is how to control the flow of the lesson. Now we this is the course that we've been working on if you haven't checked out the previous videos please take a look at um, the exploring Moodle series um, and and you'll see where we are coming from in our last video we finished adding an, an activity uh, specifically we added a quiz and so uh, this is the, the course that we've been working on and right now what we're going to do is we're going to manage and take a look at some options to manage the flow of the course. Now you need to turn editing on on your course and you can do that either in the administration block right here or you can do that in the turn editing on block over here uh, button. Okay over here so let's do that and right away we notice uh, there are some controls for each activity that we have and also some controls for the topics that we have and we have some controls for the blocks that we have in our course page now we're gonna worry mostly about the controls for our um, activities okay now the first uh, button right here, uh, what what it does is it indents the activity, and you can see there uh, I pressed it, and now the that activity is indented. It moves a little bit. I'm going to indent the second one further. Now this might be helpful if you are. There we go. So it might be helpful if you are arranging your activities in such a way that there's a hierarchy and you want, for instance, a resource and then indented below it uh, some activities that go along with that resource before students move on to the next section, etc. So you can uh, visually um, suggest how uh, things are arranged and where they belong, etc. Uh, of course, uh, in the indented items, you have a new uh, icon which will move or uh, undo that indentation, move it uh, in the opposite direction, right, and put it in line. The second icon that's important is the move icon, and the move icon, when you click it, you'll get an option. Uh, you're essentially moving that resource and you get an option of where do you want to put it. You have to pick the space, the blank space where you want to put it. So this label that I picked up, I'm going to put it on the top and there we go. And I just moved my label to, um, to a different position. And I'm going to move my quiz right here I'm going to put it right on top of quiz one right here, and so on and so forth. Uh, so there you have it. We um, we are managing the resources and and changing the order so that we control more or less the flow of 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 information and how how we want our students to see it and how we want to uh, them to access it. Uh, I want to add uh, some space here in between uh, the activities, the resources and the activities right here. So I'm going to insert a label and I'm not going to, there's no name for a label and all I'm going to do is I'm going to add some blank spaces and save that. Oh. There we go. So I'm adding some blank spaces and it's not letting me do, I guess I need to enter at least one character. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to enter some, well, let's enter some text, but I'm going to make it white so that it doesn't really show. There we go. There we go. Save and return. So it should be no problem now. It, it entered it and I'm going to move it 
And this this blank, almost blank. I'm going to put it in between resources and so there we go. So now uh, there's a button here that's really really important. Switch roll two, and this allows me to see the course the way my student will see it. So my student will see this, and there's this blank space here that we added and we know that we have a word there right but but the effect is only uh, so that we can see some space between so we added a blank label there so this is how my students see it actually I don't like that it's too much space return to my normal role right there as a teacher now turn editing back on and I get the um, the controls again and now we're gonna explore well we can go and edit that resource or we can delete it so editing the resource um, whether it's a label or an activity will take us to the editing uh, page for that uh, activity or resource there we can change the content or in the case of activities change the settings but I'm going to press the delete button right here and just get rid of that. Now I'm, I'm being asked the question, are you absolutely sure you want to completely delete labeled text? I'm going to say yes. And there, it's gone. So I can delete it. Now there's one more uh, button which is really, really important. Uh, and it's the hide button. Uh, the little eye icon there. And when I press it, what happens is I, as a teacher, I still see the activity right there, but my students won't be able to see it. So when they come to the course, and I'm going to switch again, uh, I'm going to switch to the student role just to take a look at how they would see it. For them, it disappears. Okay? return to my uh, usual role and for the teacher it's there but you notice the change the difference it's a little darker uh, the the font color is a little bit different so that means it's hidden okay so that way you can uh, control what your students see even though you've prepared all your material ahead of time uh, if you want for instance the students not to see that there's a quiz there that's going to be a surprise for them next time they come in they, they they'll find that there's a new activity and you already have it prepared you just haven't shared it with them right okay um so that's for activities and we also have controls for the different blocks or, or topics or weeks that we have and the activities are the controls are uh, very similar in that some of them have a similar function now the arrow you can imagine moves a topic up or down from the position they are currently on so for instance the first topic right here number one if I if I click on move down it'll just become the second topic and there will be a blank topic which used to be number two it'll be on top you can also highlight a topic and that's the little light bulb icon if you click there uh, then what happens is that topic will be highlighted so the you can see the color change right there so students will know that is the current topic or the one that you're working on etc and you can hide a topic altogether so for instance topic one here which is empty right now um, I'm going to hide it and I can see it but you see you see how the the color is different it's grayed out okay and what happens is that when you when we go to see the course the way our students would see it there uh, they can see that the topic is not available and topic two is highlighted right now in the course settings page you can set this hidden topics to be viewed this way which is a collapsed form or to disappear altogether and you can change that setting if you go as the teacher to the settings uh, in the administration block and we already took a look at those settings so we won't go there right now
Let's turn the editing on then and uh, again uh, make that topic visible. Okay, so those are the different ways in which you can control how the material is displayed. You can hide and or show uh, specific activities or resources. You can change the order of those activities and change how the activities are laid out. And you can do the same and move and hide and highlight the different blocks, the different uh, topic sections. Okay, so we have one last video to go, and uh, that's going to be on the grade book, uh, which is going to be probably, in my opinion, one of the more powerful things about Moodle. So I'll see you then, and I hope you enjoy this one.